Easy steps. First of all, uh, self-deification in a sense today, and they peddle that today under the concept of spirituality oftentimes, which is basically oftentimes self-deification versus the Islamic concept of spirituality, which is self-annihilation. Fana and ta'bud Allah ka'annaka tara that you worship Allah as if you are seeing Him, not seeing yourself or seeing anything else, you're annihilated. The only thing that is, is Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's the understanding in Islamic spirituality. But today's spirituality oftentimes is presented as self-deification and you just wake up to a revelation. You're awesome. <laughs> no, you're, you're awesome. Now, remember that, right? You're awesome. So from this point on, you follow your gut feelings. Why? You're awesome. And you become mechanical anyway. You make a formula. Becomes easy. You are the final judge of everything that's right or wrong and over everybody. Why? You are awesome. And you make a formula. Someone tells you you're arrogant. You say what? Formula. It is mechanical. You say, uh, no, you are. I am the most unarrogant person ever. End story. They tell you you're this. No, you are. I am the most ever. You don't have to worry about it. Don't even think about what they say. It's not important. Why? Because they're not important. Because you are awesome. He sees the self deification point under the point of spirituality does not need you to improve, does not need you to learn, does not require you to mature, does not require you to sacrifice little or, or struggle. It just requires you to think that you are perfect and you are the final judge on everything. And that's how things work. A deceptive maybe approach or a false sense of reality and that's why people then there's that clash versus the issue is that you actually improve Ya Gulam, oh young man and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is telling him telling Ibn Abbas I am teaching you young man a couple of words suffice these couple of words if you ask ask Allah and if you seek help Seek help from Allah. You're not the source of righteousness. You're not the source of might. You're not the source. Of, you're not omniscient. You're not. You are a helpless slave of his who will eventually go back to him and will be accounted on everything. Thoughts, words, and actions. So therefore, observe Allah. Ihfadillah. You will find him pave the way before you. But if you don't observe him, you will be going in many different ways. None of them will lead you to the truth. Right? The human being seeks the help of evil like he seeks the help of good. Why? The human being is hasty. If you wait and you examine, you say, all right, Allah gave me good and bad. I'm able to do good. I'm able to do bad. Let me refine myself and do good on a thought level, on a word level, on an action level, and not do evil. That requires a little struggle here and there. The nafs wants to push you right, left, and, and center. All right, that's good. And then sure, you can. You may become awesome. Though Al-Quran Al-Karim told us, لا تزكوا أنفسكم. Yani Al-Quran Al-Karim ordered us to do tazkiyah, ordered us to, do, to be purified, but prohibited us from claiming purification or righteousness. لا تزكوا أنفسكم, Allah says. Do not... Uh, claim righteousness to yourself. He's the one who knows who is more righteous. The second meaning, the meaning of ibadah. Right? As Allah says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, wasbir nafsaka ma'al ladhina yad'oona rabbam. Right? Surah al-Kahf that we read today, inshallah. All of you, if you have time, please read Surah al-Kahf. وَاسْبِرْ نَفْسَكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ رَبَّهُمْ بِالْغَدَاتِ وَالْعَشِيرِ دُمَوْجَهَ And remain steadfast with those who يَدْعُونَ here. They worship their Lord in the morning. They worship their Lord at night. They seek Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala only. So يَدْعُونَ رَبَّهُمْ Dua means here what? Worship. And Allah told us that we ought to worship Him. يَا بَنِي آدَمَ Right? سَلَامٌ قَوْلًا مِّن رَبٍّ رَحِيمٌ 
and then he tells us do not worship shaitan. And what do you mean worship shaitan? Worship shaitan is like, uh, like uh, the uh, Razi others mentioned, uh, people by following shaitan. And he says that not everybody worships shaitan on the same level. Some people worship him with their outwardly actions, but their heart is still denying. They do evil, but their heart is denying the evil. That's evil. That there's some conscious left. And some people, they sell their soul to shaitan. Well, man, some people become worse than the jinni shaitan. The human shaitans, you know, they're, they sometimes they puzzle. Maybe, maybe they puzzle the jinni shaitans with all the things, that they, all the trickery and the, and the things they do. Allah says, but you shall worship me. Dua means ibadah. The other meaning of dua is also to invite or to call. You remember the story of the of Sayyidina Shu'ib. If it's Sayyidina Shu'ib, yani, there's disagreement. Like with Musa alayhi salatu wasalam al kalim Sayyidina al kalim Musa salawatu alayhi wasalamu alayhi. When he went to Madian, remember when he went from Egypt all the way, he went to Madian and he saw the two young ladies fetching some water. And he goes to, and they were waiting because there are other people. Uh, what's with you? As the Quran says, they say as the, the meaning of the ayah, uh, we are waiting for people to finish. And the two young ladies, the, allegedly the daughters of Sayyidina Shu'ib, they said, we're waiting for the line to finish. To fetch the water, wa abuna shaykhun kabir. Why are we here? So you don't ask us, yani, where is the man in your family? We only have our father, and our father is a very old man. The, the meaning of the ayah, right? He's an old man, so that's why we're doing it here. Fasaqa lahuma. The Quran says, Musa alayhi salatu was salam went and said, All right, let me, let me fetch the water for you. Oh, yani, a gentleman, Sayyidina Musa alayhi salatu was salam. Adab, adab al -anbiya. Okay, no, no, you stay, let me do it for you. He did it for them, he gave it. After that, one of them comes, قالت, Inna abi yad'uk. Notice, now the word dua. Inna abi yad'uk liyadziyaka ajra ma saqayta lana. To reward you for the good that you did for us. Dua is to invite you, call you, Let's say for something here, call you to do good. And look at this ayah. I, I, I was thinking about the ayah. I said, subhanallah, Al-Quran makes this ayah everlasting in the book of Allah Azza wa Jal to lead us to a point of what? Life is principles. Someone does you good, you don't do them bad. Otherwise, the whole scene, why would it be mentioned? Our Father is inviting you to reward you for the good you did to us. Wafa, ma'ou al hur like a shafi. He says al hur man ra'a widada lahza wani wan tama liman afadahu lafza. Imam Shafi says he says the real free who is not a slave, a yani slave to Shaytan or to himself. Uh, the real free, Shafi says, is the one الذي راع وداد ال the one who is appreciative of one moment of goodness with people. Someone did you one thing only, you remain remember that thing for the rest of your life. The principle. Well, without principles, what what's the worth of the human being? The flesh is gonna go to the grave, and earth will recycle it. The principles it was is what makes the human being rise. Not the flesh and the eating and everything else that also we share with animals and other things. Takreem wa laqad karramna bani Adam isn't that. So Shafi says, he says, Al hurru man ra'a widada lahza wa antama liman afadahu lafza. And he ascribes or he belongs to that who uh, benefited him even with a word. Well, Islam without adab wa akhlaq. That's why Allah Azza wa Jal, when he described his Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he didn't say, وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَىٰ عِلْمٍ عَظِيمٍ Though the ilm of Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is عظيم. لكن he said, وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَىٰ خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ Ya Rasulullah, indeed you have the highest level of ethics.